When you picture Doctors Without Borders, what do you see? Do you picture someone who looks like me? Helping someone who looks like me. This is a fundraising poster MSF Norway used in 2006. And we've been using pictures like this for a long time, including pictures of me. The problem is, we haven't always given you the whole picture. The full picture. Here, we even cropped out the parents of the boy. Whose name is Ali Hamad. He's a real person, so that he looks even more alone and helpless. For years, we've used pictures like this. To raise awareness. To raise money. To recruit staff. But today, we recognize that these images propagate a single story and perpetuate racist, racist stereotypes, stereotypes of so-called white saviors and powerless victims. But Doctors Without Borders has always been Nigerian Without Borders, Kenyans Without Borders, Filipinos Without Borders, Haitians Sans Frontières, Mexicanas Sin Fronteras, we just haven't focused on them as much as we should have. So, you might not know that of all our colleagues around the world, the largest number are from South Sudan. You might not know that this is because four out of five of our colleagues are hired locally in the countries where we work. You might not know that today more than half of our international mobile staff, of which I am one, come from Africa, the Middle East, Asia, and Latin America. You might not know that Doctors Without Borders has so much diversity because we haven't always shown that to you. And that is because our humanitarian history is unavoidably rooted in the history of colonialism and neocolonialism and its stubborn stereotypes of the white European expert and the distant order in need. So now we've begun the long journey to change MSF culture and way of communicating and advocating. And because we all have blind spots, we will certainly stumble along the way. But this isn't just about getting it done. It's about getting it right. Some changes should be easier than others. Like showing a more representative picture of who we really are, and where we are coming from. When we tell our story our whole story. Of course, that story still includes people who look like me. Because that is still true. However, white people shouldn't be the center of every story. Because that is not the whole story. And that's why we want to pass the mic to our colleagues around the world much more often. So that more people from our diverse workforce and the patients themselves can tell their own story with their own voice from their own perspectives and co-own the story. This is important. So now it's uh, also up to you. Will you listen to them? We hope you do. Some say that fewer people will listen when the story isn't told by someone who looks like me. They say that this kind of poster won't raise as much money. And that means we will save fewer lives. Will, will you, you join, join us, us in improving, improving them, them wrong? wrong? We want to believe you will. Because this is not about us and them. It is not about heroes and victims. This is about global solidarity and humanitarian justice. Because we, we are, are all just, just human, human beings. beings with the same worth and dignity and, and the, the same, same right, right to, to live, live in, in safety, safety and health.